and I am giving thanks to the Hunab Ku, the one and only giver of movement and measure, the great central sun and black hole at the epicenter of the omniverse, heart of sky, heart of earth, consciousness of all. I am here to do your work, and I thank you for your continued energetic blessings. Greetings! I am Crispy, a Gaian, Mayan, Pleiadian, emissary of light. In Lakesh Alakin, I am another you. You are another me. We are one, one godsciousness. And I am here to talk to you, Mr. Christopher Nolan, and tell you about your Mayan embodiment birthday. You are tone two, that's two dots, of the eagle. Pretend this is an eagle there. It looks like that. You are called pairing eagle in my translation. And I am tone seven of an eagle. There, see, just like that. So you and I have the same glyphs for guides. As you can see here, and here is yours. The only difference is the tones. So everyone born on an eagle has the same glyphs for the four guiding positions. Now, the guides, we call them guides, but it's actually part of you. So we all have our core self, glyph and tone, and we have the four guides, which are glyphs and tones, but it's all you. That's what in Lakesh Alakin means. It is complete unity consciousness. Your birthday, by the way, oops, let's go this way. Ha <laughs> ha! It's so hard to tell the difference from behind here. You are called Kin 15, which is the 15th day of the 260-day Dzulkin, and being Tone 2 has a lot of qualities of duality and polarity and paradox, and being an eagle has a lot of qualities, primarily vision, and also being an intermediary between the heavenly and the earthly. We eagles have our feet on the ground, but our head in the sky, am I right? And our wings, our wingspans are great. Now, paradox, vision, that's where I came up with your key phrase for your core self. You are a paradox visionary. Now, I also create high vibration phrases. I always do at least three for my clients, which comes from a key word or key phrase from your tone and a key word or phrase from your glyph, and I put them together to make high vibration phrases. So there's I'm going to give you three more for your core self and three more for each of your guides. I'm not going to explain all of this. If you would like, email me and I will give you oodles of information that will convince you, I feel, of the validity of what I'm going to tell you now. Here are three more high vibration phrases to go along with your paradox visionary myths. Intimate intuition. Transcending duality messenger. Polarizing independence. I create these phrases for all of my clients, many that came through for me today, for you today, are the first time they've ever popped into my little brain mind thingy. But I am positive 
that this has some specific meaning for you. Now, I should also mention that uh, there's three other luminaries who were born on Pairing Eagle Day that I know of, one of them being Raquel Welsh, another being Lady Gaga, and the third being Papaji Jayanti. So the four of you somehow create these four pillars of awesomeness of pairing eagle vibration for the rest of us humans to look up to. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to tell you about your four guides. I always teach them in the same order. Past Wisdom Guide, Divine Feminine Guide, Divine Masculine Guide, Future Vision Guide. And for you and everyone who's born on Tone 2, the order of your guides for the tones are Tone 7, Tone 8, Tone 9, and Tone 10. And that's partly why I teach them in that order. So here we go. These are your three high vibration phrases for reflecting deer. Top of the pyramid authority. Observing hand of protection. Regal neutrality. So here in your past wisdom guide, it's things you either learned from your childhood maybe from your parents or elders of any genetic connection or anything you learned from ancient cultures or just observing other people. If we did not learn these things in our childhood, we have to go back and teach them to ourselves now. I think you can feel into what I'm talking about. So, from seven deer, we move across to eight sunrise. And here are your three high vibration phrases for your divine feminine guide, which is your innermost self in those quietest moments. Collective unconscious Resonance, infinite vision, eccentric ritual. So it's quite interesting that vision comes into your divine feminine and your core self. And we'll see what happens with your future vision guide in a little while. Now, moving across your heart chakra from your Divine Feminine over to your Divine Masculine, your right-hand man, which, as you know, is the left brain of logic and language. Divine Feminine, left hand, the right mind of intuition, as you know. Now, back to your right-hand man, who is yourself, another you, being tone nine, which is patient, as we call it, but it's also persistent and resilient. It's patient with the current level of energy necessary to succeed. And we're adding that power to the glyph called offering, which is the glyph of karma and of ritual and creating altars, public ritual definitely. So very powerful, masculine, yet respectful of so many interlocking, interweaving factors for your Divine Masculine guide. Here are three high vibration phrases that might help you understand. Intentional tribute. Gratitude for teamwork. Karmic mastery, sir. It's 
So it's going to be through your outer public face, Yang self, that you prove to the Omniverse that you have mastered your karma in this lifetime. You've got, let's say, another 51 years to go, because I think you and I, sir, we're going to make it to our 104th birthday. I'm a little ahead of you. I have 100 years to go. No, I don't. I'm not four. I have 50 years to go. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> Seriously, though. Now, from your divine masculine guide, we go back over to the right mind, into the future vision. Once again, vision is so strong for you. Let's see what tone 10, representing the two hands, combining with the glyph of dusk, manifesting dusk. Let's see what this has to offer you. Co-creating sanctuary, abundant lucid dreams, supporting hope. Now, it is said by the Maya that our future vision guide is not only beckoning to us, especially from the age of 42, which, if you watch my most recent video before this, I explain clearly that on your 42nd birthday, it is the exact same day as your Mayan birthday, or your Mayan birthday is one day before your 42nd birthday, depending on if you were born in a leap year or not. You either some of the Mayan astrologers teach that you actually become your future vision guide. I say it is leading you, guiding you, beckoning you on to your future. So what I have just told you, your high vibration phrases have been in your life for a long time, especially the last 10, 11 years from age 42 to 52. The Maya, many of the Maya say that after age 52, you, sir, are manifesting dusk. And dusk, by the way, means dusk, night, and dawn. It is the whole time of the day in which there's no sun in the sky. Very dreamy, okay? So those three, again, take a listen. Co-creating sanctuary, abundant lucid dreams, supporting hope. Now, I'm going to give you one more. This glyph being Akbal, it is pronounced, is the night, and therefore the key animal with this glyph is the bat. So, the bat has been calling to you. You have been becoming the bat, and somehow it is still in your future. The bat of motivation, or motivation from the bat, is part of your future vision guide now. Maybe that means you're going to learn how to fly around with your eyes closed and catch bugs. I don't know. <laughs> or maybe it means something else. You tell me. <laughs> Seriously, just email me and I'll give you a lot of information. We can set up a Zoom and tell you all about the real deal. All right. In la cash a la kim. Namaste. Crispy out. Okay, Christopher. Um, I think the video is not over yet. I didn't quite finish. You may have noticed that I didn't talk at all.
about your movies. And I'm not really going to. Um, I've seen some of them. And in researching this video, it seems clear that the theme of duality or paradox is extremely clear in most, if not all. To which the Maya say, of course, that's who you are, paradox of vision. One thing you don't know about me is that I live in Hiroshima. My very first time in Japan in 2002, I came here directly. It was very important to me to go to the Peace Memorial Museum. I wonder if it's important to you to come here now. I am inviting you here. I will take you to the museum. I will introduce you to survivors. I have friends who were alive at the time. They live around me. I'm not going to watch your movie that starts with the letter O. It's not necessary. I know you filled it with paradox, and that was appropriate. If I had a client who was suffering emotionally from profiting greatly after having promoted, created and promoted such a movie, I would tell them, perhaps your emotional and psychological state could be assuaged by donating 100% of your profit not just profit, every single penny that you made, that you paid yourself to the Hibakusha of both cities. If you were to do that, sir, your right hand man of patient and persistent karma. what I would advise my client if they asked me about a situation like that. It's so interesting to me that today is resolving solar chief Albert Einstein's Mayan birthday. And it's so appropriate that I am saying, I have unconditional love and unconditional forgiveness and unconditional trust in you and for you, that everything is perfect, every single 